just, you know what, Sharon, just ring me before the show and say, Lisa, put your sound on. I never do it, do I? But we're all good now. Um, good evening, Yvonne and Floria and Janet and Lorraine and Sharon and Jackie. Good evening. Hey, Judy. Judy, I've still got all your stuff in the warehouse. Don't get me wrong. I'm more than happy to keep all your cool stuff, but we have to get together for a play day soon or I will come to you. Um, hello, Kathy and Louise. Hello, Nen. I know I personally didn't order for you within the last 48 hours. Yes, I did. Um, hi, Jane. Hello, Michelle. Now, Maria. Maria, Maria, forgive me if we have not met before, but I don't know that I've seen your name before. Um, and Francis, now, Pat, the sounds all, sound should all be on. Are we all on now? We should be. Um, Deb says she's just finishing tea. Hang on, I'll turn myself up and I know. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, Deb's just finishing tea. Having a glass of red. Well, we're not. Rob's on the cider. Oh, no, I don't even know where I've put mine. Oh, I'm on the non-alcoholic ginger beer. Because you know I go red enough. Yeah, you know I go red enough doing this with the lights on without having any bubbles. Um, Heather, and hello, Cheryl. Jillian's here. Oh, look, it's really good to see you all. Oh, Terry, not on night shift, not an evening shift. Okay. Um, Kathy, you are most welcome for your parcel. Hello, Michelle. You got my message, yeah? So it's your parcels there ready to pick up when you're ready. Um, but yes, thank you all for joining us. I've just got to thread this machine up. And uh, while I'm doing this, uh, what did I need? What? How much? Well, sorry? How much? Oh, he's still asking. How much are the fabrics? Yeah. Well, shall we make it up? Shall we ask? We'll, we'll put out a survey. No, no, that would not be a good idea. Um, well, they're usually 26 and they're featuring in tonight's project. So may I please have them 1950 a metre? Mm -hmm. Would that be okay with you, boss? Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> Kathy says I'm on a dark red called cola. Yes, but what's in with the cola, Kathy? That's the uh, <laughs> that's the funny thing, Fiona. I did your <laughs> I cooked I did cook dinner, but in fairness, Rob was uploading um, our specials for tonight under live five at the time, so I did cook dinner. We had uh, we had pork fillet tonight. I'm just going to thread this up. Yes, so, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, really, really sorry. A few things popped up tomorrow, yesterday afternoon, and you know that if, if you lose about five hours of time the day before, you just know you're not going to be ready for the next day. So, uh, and I knew I had Emma in today, and we had a lot of fun making the project we're going to do tonight today. And I thought, oh, the girls will let me off with a warning. They won't mind too much if we do that. Okay, I'm going to pop my banana on the floor for a minute anyway i hope you all had a really good weekend of course of course a big big shout out and hello and virtual hug to all of our friends uh, in new south wales you know we're in victoria right we said this last week and we we feel your pain because we've been there and we've done that um we've moved on but you know what we could very well we've moved on just you know every day is different isn't it every day is different but um, I hope you're all staying really well. And I've been talking to a couple of people on the phone. And all I keep saying is just make every day count. Just have a routine. You know, everything that we did last year. I know Rob and I kind of vegged around for a while um, when we got back from Spain. And also when we went into lock, to the big lockdown. And you do it for a little while and you go, no, this is it. We're going to get out of bed every morning by 7.30. We're going to get dressed. We're going to make the bed. And we're going to have a list and we're going to get things done. And you've just you've got to get yourself to that point so that you make the most of it. It's, it's really interesting because we were saying to... I forget who I was talking to today. Yesterday morning. I was on my own. I was talking to someone um, on the phone, one of my customers. And we talked about... Um, it's harder if you had things planned. So if you didn't have anything major planned for this period of time, or last year with us, 
uh, it's it's kind of easier to deal with. But if you had something really big planned, you know, you've got to be easy on yourself a bit too because you've kind of lost that as well. So you've just got to make yourself get up in the morning and get some things done and clean out that sewing room. Can I put these fabrics down now? Yeah. What about the middle two? No, not those. Okay. No, no. The girls will find, I'll tell the girls about those if they want to grab them online at the same time. So what we're going to do tonight is make something. And this is what Emma and I did today. Now I'm going to, I'm going to pop this on the overhead. So, oh yeah, there you go. This is the little bag that we made today. And, oh yeah, literally made today. Actually, Rob, I need a pair of scissors from over the back of you. Come pass me a pair. Not the big paper ones. Maybe just my pretty ones up the back or something. Lovely. Actually, I should pull out my good, where are my good ones? In the red box. Oh, they're around somewhere because we were going to, uh, going to get some. Okay, so we made this bag today, and I mean today, and finished it at about four o'clock. So we're going to make the second one or get on the way to it tonight. Uh, and then Cass is standing by. With the draft of the pattern, it's going to be finished off and out the door to you. This is just a little technique that I wanted to try out in a little bag. Nothing big, no you know, major, major commitment. Um, but I wanted to do this weave, front and back. And it is so, so easy to do. And this, I suppose, is a starting point for me. Do you remember last year when we had all of those sari... Can you get the cat out from behind the, 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 the whole cable that is connecting us to the girls on the internet? And then she can go out, oh, oh, Ginny, do it, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, she's not going back in there, Rob. <laughs> she's going to disconnect us all. I don't know that anyone knows about what happened last week, girls. Anyway, so I wanted to do this, and if you remember, we had those sari silks, okay, last year. I'm going back to those, I've got more of those, and I just wanted to get this whole weaving thing going. I've popped that green lattice inside, super easy to make, so I'm going to show you this. And then uh, Rob's already put up online under Live 5 for you the kits if you would like to buy one. And they will come with everything you need, with the batting, with all of the fabrics and the pattern. So that's one thing. Yeah. The second thing is I bought back from Spain, speaking of little changes of plans uh, with the pandemic last year these little frames from my friend Maria now I'm sure I can source more that are similar but I brought home a precious uh, 10 of these so today we've made up a little glasses case uh, you could or you could pop anything in there in fact Em was mucking around when we finished work and she just wanted to let you know you can fit $50 notes in there you can fit your money in there as well if you wanted to use it for a note purse so that's another little one that we've got, and you'll find that under Live 5. So it's, it's just capital L-I-V-E 5. Don't put a gap in the middle, just, just go Live 5. And then the other thing that I've just popped up is just a lovely little simple lanyard kit. So these are the super duper strong Sally Tomato um, lanyard clamps. Uh, I've got my hammer ready to show you that with a D-ring on the end. So again, you can take if you wish, your lanyard and pop, she says, without her glasses on. Give me a minute. Okay, you can pop, you know what it is, I'm gonna blame it, I'll give it a go. So you can actually pop that on there and then if you want to, if you are like me, and always use your, lose your glasses or always go out and you just want your phone, perfect for your phone, and a bit of cash and something in there. And then you could grab both of those and you're done. I think that's quite cool. And then I've got my matching bat. I kind of like this. I'm getting really used to it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right now, Rob, do you remember? We've just put these on the website and I can't even remember. No. But he's going to look and we're going to let you know how much they are. I know that the lanyard kit, which comes with the fabric and the clamp, is $8.50. 50. Yep. So, we'll have a look. Oh, just while he's doing that, can I... I meant to... Oh, I meant to show you these. Yep, thanks. Um, and the bag, please. Uh, I meant to show you these last week. I had them on the shelf three times, so I've meant to show you. 
This is just another little idea. 27.50. Thank you. It, this is not, just another little idea for presents towards Christmas. Even when you can get yourself to your little Asian grocery store, I thought this would be just so cute in the bottom. You're going to put little rolled up bits of fabric from your stash, your precious pieces. So you could probably get, oh, even if you just did little four inch strips and folded them over and scrolled them up just so that they all sit in there. Something precious in there. And then in the top one, you could just put a little pair of scissors and some threads and some wools or something in and pop that on the top and do it up with a bow because you've got this handle at the top. So when I do these, I just bring up twine from both sides or ribbon and just get it underneath that little, just underneath the little handle up there. They're also really, really nice um, for cookies and lollies. But you know, you know, you can buy these in single or you can buy these individually. So you can stack them up high and of course then they can use them as a steamer. Afterwards, so I uh, had amazing creative friends growing up that were friends of my mum and dad's. And, oh gee, I'm going back 35 years. I was presented one Christmas with miniature walnut shortbread cookies, which mum still got the recipe for. I will stick that up on a quilter's life for you. Um, in these, that's how long ago it was. Uh, and from, since then, I've always remembered that they're really good presents. Use, really good to use for presents. Good evening, Ruth and uh, thanks, Deb, Denise, and Gillian. Oh, Judith, you're here too. How are things? And Yara. I oh, bet it's cold. It's cold up here. Good evening, Miss Kate. I have heard really, really good gossip about you, and we will talk tomorrow. Um, hello Sue, yes hello to everyone, thank you. So let's, uh, will we make something, we'll make something. Should we start with the easy thing first? Okay, right, well first of all, the, as I said Rob, these are up on the website under Live 5. The, um, the bag kit is up there for you at $27.50. I'm going to make another one tonight um, and if you like that combination, that will go up tomorrow so if you want to put things in your cart and leave them there until it comes up tomorrow you can if you're really worried about missing out though because I don't actually get those orders until you have checked out of your cart or finished your order if you um, want to do that we will look for duplicates because remember what we do now is we wait until after the Thursday show to mail out so we combine anything between the two for you unless you go I need it and I need it now then I'll do it for you but otherwise we see so we get them ready and then we wait till Thursday show but that so they're all up on the website but what I also did tonight I just mm -hmm. saw me got rev to do I've popped this fabric did you put a key live five on it as well yes Ta. Um, this is under live five as well so I've just marked that one down and I've also marked down this one so I'll leave that there just till after Thursday's show to 1950 I just did because sometimes when we do projects and you you know I'm doing a bag with it tonight you might go, oh, I like that fabric. Oh, but I don't want to make a bag with it. I want to use it for something else. So I have popped those down for you to 1950. Uh, and you can grab some if you want to. Pat, hello. Good to see you. Oh, well, you're all here. The Facebook's changed. <coughs> Felicity, I don't know why you're saying that to me. But I will um, do the demo again on the Lotus Flower Folded Fabric if you want on Thursday. Um... Yeah, so grab these if you want to for something else. I just think, I love that. That is a tote bag. It's probably my favourite one, actually, that we did with the tan handles. Anyway, so they're both under Live 5 for you. Um, and they will make up this kit. As I said, you get just, just what you need for the kit. And I'm also putting in the batting. So you'll get your two squares of soft and stable batting for it in the kit. Um, you also get a thin piece of iron pallen, which is for your uh, side gusset that goes all the way around. So it's going to be quite a quick, quite a quick and easy quilt to make up. Uh, sorry, bag to make up, um, and it is twenty-seven fifty because I've just made sure you've got just what you need with the pattern to make it. On patterns as well, I do just want to mention when we. Uh, when we move over to the new website, you will be able to buy print, 
print your own pattern, so you'll be able to buy them and download them straight away. Not with all of them, not the big ones like Baltimore's and things, but the smaller ones you can. If you're not into that though, and you really like to just buy it as a hard copy from us, we're going to talk about that Thursday because the pattern prices will go up for printables, and that's just because we haven't put them up for about 10 years. And Everything else has gone up around us, like printing and the packaging and everything, but we haven't put them up. So um, if you want to print your own from the new website, when it starts, you, they will be the same price, but printable will just be a little bit more. So but we'll come back and talk about patterns on um, Thursday. Okay, now what I've got for our, have a look at this. Now, some of you will recognise this fabric. We have had it before. This is what I'm going to use for the second kit. So, um, oh, flick, yeah, the flower. Okay, the lotus flower would look really nice. You're absolutely right. In a steamer. Now I understand what you mean. Okay, so this is the main fabric that I'm going to use for the second version of our bag. This is going to be the lining. So I've just picked up this coffee cream with the champagne fairy frost and it is a really unusual fabric but I know some particular mum who doesn't do Facebook will really really like it. <laughs> so I'm going to put this chocolate, it's like a really dark chocolate with a speckle of black through it, shadow play as my bag fabric um, that the slats are going to go through. And then for my little woven slats, do you remember this one from last week? We're going to use this one. So this is the shimmer in the teal. So this is going to be my little weave that goes through. Um, that's the part of the bag. But you know what? First of all, I want to just show you how this lanyard works. It's super, super easy. So you will need... Gee, I hope, <laughs> I hope this table is up to the hammering. But Rob, you did not flinch when I said I need a hammer. You didn't. You didn't say anything. <laughs> Just trust. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. She needs a hammer. Okay, I'll I'll go and get her one. So in the um, little pack for your lanyard, you oh, I'm left-handed. I've got to turn it around. You are going to get a ten-inch strip cut ready to go and it, look it's entirely up to you how long you want to make your um your lanyard it can be a great big long one or if you want you can just have it as a um just as a wristlet it's you know it's up to you Rob are you um yeah just because I'm because I'm doing this yeah I'm trying to just keep you're trying to what Keep track of it. Of what? The comments. Oh, well, as long as someone, yeah, just let me know if someone asks a question. Yeah. That'd be great. They're all random though. I can't get it to stream properly. That's bizarre. Rob? It's fine. Absolutely fine. They'll come through. Um, okay, so I'm just off to the side because I want to iron over this four inch strip in half. And then we're going to iron it in half again. So it's really, really thick. If you wanted to use uh, a one inch wide ribbon instead, you could. Um, and of course you don't even have to use the bit of fabric that I'm putting in your kit. You could use anything. Uh, it's, really, it's really interesting at the moment um, sourcing bag furniture because usually we get a lot of it out of the states but the shipping and stuff out of america well shipping from to here from america is fine at the moment um but getting stuff from asia into america is proving really really difficult for the states so we've kind of switched around our bag furniture at the moment is coming out of england it's all swings and roundabouts Okay, I'll just do this other side. This is gorgeous fabric. It's it's not like my metallics. It's more like a little glitter metallic. 
Uh, what else do I have to tell you? Oh, yes, today. So today, Eileen Campbell's uh, information for the labels for her quilts going in our exhibition arrived, which is really, really exciting. And that starts on about the 14th of September. Um, we will put all the tickets on sale and we, we will get all of that organised. You know, we, we don't do things too early out these days, but uh, looking at having that all out probably mid-August. And I had a big, long chat with Rachel Daisy and we've got some of her gorgeous quirky quilts coming down from Sydney. And then, as I mentioned, we are running just an impromptu Australian themed handbag exhibition and challenge um, so that we'll have everyone sort of, we'll have Rachel and Eileen's, oh and I've got, I've got a few other quilts coming, they'll all be up the top and then we'll have the handbags down the bottom. So prizes wise and judges wise, I've got three judges for this one. I have uh, Nathan Hammond from Benina and I have Maria Waters and uh, Eileen Campbell. None of them know that yet, but they are the judges. And they also don't know what they're giving away. But Nathan will be giving away a um, $3,000 sewing machine package. <laughs> he doesn't even know it yet. He's going to die when he has to give it away, but he's doing a whole Bennett package giveaway from Chandler's Cottage. So I'm letting him judge that one. Uh, and Eileen and Maria will be suitably given their own prizes to, to uh, give to someone who puts their bag in. And I don't mind if it's a bag that you've had in one of our competitions before, one of our challenges before. I'm perfectly fine. Even if you made it two years ago for the Great Australian Botanical Bag Challenge and it's Australian themed. I don't mind. Oh, the more the merrier. So that'll be uh, that'll be good. So um, Steve's in tomorrow. We're going to clean, just empty out a little bit more space because we know there's going to be a lot, a lot of uh, exhibition pieces. And I think the earlier we can get that um, warehouse ready, so we can literally cram in as much as we can. We will get that done. Okay, I have put. Good evening, Val. Oh, Christine. Christine, Christine, Christine. What can I say? Your new baby is looking very swish and um, on its way to being ready for pickup. Um, Christine has bought just, you know, maybe something really gorgeous of mine. So um, that's really exciting. And we've got a couple more that we need to find homes for. So, uh, yeah, it's been in a month. Okay, I'm still not good at this standing up thing, but I'll give it a go. What I need to do, gee, I put my um, camera on the other side tonight. It's absolutely throwing me. There you go. So I folded this over into, and we're going to top stitch down each side. Well, for the purpose of tonight, I'll just go down one side so I can show you how this is done. In fact, I don't even have to do the whole lot. Well, I'll, do, I'll do each end and then I can uh, show you how the clamp goes on. I have, uh, you're right there, buddy. There we go. I have just popped on um, my, give you that one. I've just popped on my uh, quarter inch foot and I've just got it sitting over on the edge. Whichever foot you want to use, of course, probably the easiest thing to do would be use a number one foot or an open toe foot and then take your needle, align your foot with the edge of your fabric on the folds and then take your needle all the way over to the right. Uh, I nearly just did it then and remembered I had my number 37 foot on, so we won't do that. But um, you don't want a really tiny stitch. I think it looks nicer if it is a bigger one. So I'm just going to run this through. If you um, if you 
if you have a machine, the Vanitas are fine with that, but if you have a machine that doesn't like multi-thicknesses in cottons or things, you might need to increase your foot pressure just a little bit, or you might want to swap over to a walking foot, um, whatever you think is going to work best. I found out today what Emma may be getting for her birthday weapon. From who? From her entire family. Mm. What, a wedding? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. A 720. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, Petra. Uh, Petra, your big parcel of, of many combined orders left the building today. It's uh, all done for you. And, um, yeah, it was a busy day. Busy day. Okay, there you go. So I have top stitched that all the way through. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to pop this machine on the floor. Leave you on that camera. So this is your lanyard clip. See those evil, lethal little teeth that come inside there? I have learned a lot about these um, in the last couple of weeks, about a good one. And a bad one, uh, Robbie. In that woven square basket under the tool tidy. Yeah. Can I have that basket? Surprise. What surprise? Did you put something in here for me? No, it's just my clips. It's not a surprise. Okay. So trim off your selvages if you're going to leave it as the great big long one to pop round your neck. And then I've been putting just a clip there to hold them together. I, um, I've forgotten something. I need a chopping board. Can you get to it? Mm -hmm. Can you? Oh no. See, I wasn't quite ready. My excuse was I cooked dinner. Okay, so Rob's getting me just a cutting board because what we're going to do is pop that over there. Now, if you buy, this is the thing I found out there, if you, some lanyards are so soft that you can just shut them with your fingers. And that's no good because if you can shut them easily, they're going to come undone easily. So I take, I'll take the ring off. You keep talking about it. Have you shown it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The girls have seen. You've all seen this, haven't you? This is what Steve bought me, had made for me. Is it a birthday or a Mother's Day, wasn't it? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Look at that. Lisa, our perfectionist chef, and so literally I can cut my food up in centimetres with a ruler. It's so good. And now I just use it <laughs> for everything but cutting food. So you need to pop that over the top. This took so much effort today, I, um, I'll give it a go. So that sits in there. Now, I've, I've seen, like I've been on the YouTube and I've seen people do this with just a pair of pliers. Well, I tried that and that was no good. But, wh why are you going, I haven't done it yet. Okay, we're good. So give it a good bash. Um, and then I've seen some people put, I don't even know what I've done with it now. Here we go. Oh, look, it's my Dedham Essex. <laughs> it's my mum's home village, Constable Country tea towel. Some people put a tea towel over the top because some of the lanyards, if you hit them with a hammer, they didn't. This one does not. Did you ever think I'd be using a hammer on our demos? He's on, and he is not coming off. <laughs> right, that's it. It's a she. It's not a she. Did I say she or he? No, you said he. It's a he. <laughs> done. So that's all done. Then I can put my deer ring back on. Now, so we'll set these up tomorrow as uh, another live show 
a special and then don't panic about that because we're not going to fill any orders as I said until after Thursday's show so be kind of thinking you like this one better than the um the blossom that's fine so with this I'll be making up another purse these are much easier well not much easier quicker quicker is probably the better term than the curved purse ones uh, I found this this was just super quick so um, yeah so the little kits with these were these were 12.50 Rob weren't they and you get the frame if the fabrics all cut for you to the right size with the pellet to put on with the instructions with the frame for 12.50 so um, I really like this but in these particular fabrics I'm going to make it up in this obviously for the outside and then it will have my champagne fairy frost well, it's not mine, but you know what I mean. That'll be on the inside to make up the purse. And the purse, as I said, is really easy. Um, I'll just show you. Don't do what I did, please. I was in a hurry and I just thought, yeah, I'll grab the black because it'll blend in with the frame. And that was really silly because when I opened it up to show you, you can see my thread. So I would encourage you to think about using a cream to sew on your frame or a gold because the gold is going to um, sort of copy and pick up the metallic gold on the lattice here and also on the outside. But the other thing that you might like to do because of this little delicate green that's in the print, you might like to do it with a green thread around here. If we run out of these, I'll put it out in the line now, if we run out of these I will order more because I just really really liked the whole concept of using them for my phone. Um, when Em and I made this one up today, can you see that that's just sitting out a little bit there? I just, in the instructions I've actually changed a little measurement here, so when I make the second one this little end here is going to sit in a little bit better, so you're literally seeing the prototype. So um, yeah, and they are super easy to make. If you, if you have a go at these as well and you liked the idea about trying out the frames, um, when Rob wasn't watching, I put these up on special as well. You know how I do these every now and then as one of our live specials. So under live five as well, I have popped our little Melbourne coin purse. Just check I did it right, were you Robbie? Yeah. Um, they're usually 25, I marked them down to 19.50 as well, just for this week. Uh, we've got a few there and um, you've got everything again that you need in here. Oh, you'll need to add some scrap palin into that one. Um, but, or some batting, whatever you've got. So I've popped that one up. So that's got the curved, the curved little coin purse frame. So if you try this one and you really like it, that's probably like a little bit of a step up to try. 1750. 1750, even better. Okay. So they're the two little projects um, that you've got and then we're going to make a couple of the elements out of the bag. Now if you wanted to know what does the pattern look like when it's first drafted up, before it goes off to Cass and before it gets finished off and comes to you. It just looks like, can you see that? <laughs> Tonight we're working off the scrap draft that Emma and I started today. Look at that. So professional, but you've got to start somewhere, right? It doesn't look like that now. It looks, it looks, it's starting to look very professional, but it's got to start somewhere. Do I need the boys' board again? I probably do. Look at there. Put those there, and that's this one. So that's going to go. Okay. So I want to get this little element working for you so that you can see how this all works together. So I need our dark chalky brown. So what's happening in here, you've got a strip underneath, then you pop these slats over the top, then they have little sashing pieces put either side, or our top and bottom and then we weave through this bit across here and then that's kind of the main element but I want to show you this because then I think wow if you've got a whole heap of ribbons or braids or lace 
sitting around in a cupboard and let's face it if you are sitting at home and you can't do anything else at the moment it is the time to get all those out and get something made with them so this is the bit I want to get done for you these. So this piece that I'm going to cut now is two and three quarter inches wide. Now that is because I want to run my two strips through here finished at one inch. And heads up, they're exactly they're made exactly the same way as your lanyard strap. So these were four inches folded in twice, and then with these I've top stitched either side. If you have a fancy schmancy sewing machine with lots of beautiful decorative stitches, just saying, there's no reason why you couldn't do a plain fabric through here. Judy V, if you're paying attention. <laughs> We could do really, really nice decorative stitches through here in a variegated thread. <laughs> and I've got mine um, one inch apart, but you could tighten it up and have your little slats closer. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing and jumping ahead of myself. I'll show you this bit. I cut it at two and three quarters because that's going to give me a finished height of this section of two and a quarter. And I just thought probably need to be a bit careful don't want them too snug in this little cavity you need a little bit of room to get the weave to work so uh, that's why I've just added that extra quarter of an inch to the finished size we also need um, to cut a one and a half inch strip and this is going to get used to make those little sashing pieces that are above and below I'm going to cut that one off and then and then we need to cut a two inch strip and that's going to get used to make those little um, these little pieces here. Emma, Emma knew the word for it today. It starts with S. They're not a spool, they're a string I think. A string? A string. When you're weaving the mm. vertical Someone will know. I know they will. Because we were trying to come up with a, the right word to use for it. I think it was a string. She knows all that stuff. Okay, so that's going to be our little vertical bits. This is our bit that goes top and bottom. So this piece here is going to be what sits here and here on both sides. So our, uh, these I cut at uh, 10 inches. Oh, everyone, that you, everyone, everyone, whoa, sorry, just, just remembered important things. I didn't write a list tonight, that was a bit naughty. Um, your makeup purses are on their way. And uh, I really, really hope you are happy with the pattern. And heads up, I've changed things a little bit since the demo that we did. So I've sewn things together in a slightly different order uh, and it was a lot easier. So please, please watch, go back and watch the demo again. Um, they're up on YouTube now, but also you'll find the pattern varies a little bit. I've just made it a little bit better, but um, Cass did a fantastic job with the diagrams. So I'm really, really happy with those. Warp and weft. What? Yeah, that's yeah. I know it's warp and weft. Vertical threads are warps. Yeah, no, no. We know that's, we know all that. Yeah, fine. We know warp and weft. No, but go to basket weaving, Google man. Oh, I only need two of these, but I'll cut four. Um. Yeah. So your purses are on the way. And uh, Rob's just updated the photos because they're all finished. And I took the flash photos. So I'll just quick, I'll just quickly, just quickly, quickly. Because I'm really, really happy with them. So that's the purple one. Did you pop up live five under these for me tonight too? Mm. You did? Oh, thanks. Yep. So Rob's put these under live five tonight. If you just, if you didn't see them the other day, if you want to see them. So that's the purple one with your purple tassel. 
Uh, I've got more, way, way more different tassels coming. That's the um, black and gold one. And if you remember, I popped in the little under the Australian sun tag. These were made when we were having our beautiful bags made by our beautiful girls in Cambodia, which we can't do at the moment. So I will order more, but I've popped them in there. And the applique club girls are getting one this month too. Um, yeah, so that's the black and gold. Um, completely through Cass because I wanted the tassel to sit there. So I actually took the photo that way. You'll see it. When you have a look at the photo on the website, you'll see it. And, and the branches are going this way. So I messed with the photo a bit so that that was laying down. You'll see what I mean. Spokes. Um, thank you, Rob. Spokes? Yep. What? What is in this? Whoa, just fabric. I've, I've woofed it out to take the photo. Now, this is the one... All right, so we're up to now waiting on more cork, I think, but it is hurtling its way from the States at the moment. Sorry, from Portugal via the States. <laughs> so um, please, please order. I've got all of the flowers now. They're here. I've got all my zips. I'm just waiting on this cork to come in. So if you've ordered one, you might get a little note in your package that says it's coming and we will send it out post-free. So. Um, I got Rob to up the quantities on the website tonight because we'll be all hunky-dory and fine to do those. And Steve's putting them up on the new one, so they're done. Okay. So, <clears throat> there are top and bottom ones. Oh, here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, Jim. It's a bit boring, isn't it, really? It's really hard to see what is going to go on here. But these are, what have I done? I've cut them wrong. Was I not paying attention? Oh, for goodness sake. I'll just use this back. Two and three quarter. Um, yeah, there we go. That's better. There we are. Okay. Oh, I know what I've done. <laughs> that was close. Right. Seventeen and ten. That's better. All right. So they. I'm so sorry, I got sidetracked. There you go. So we're going to have those there and there like that. You're up yeah. against MasterChef. I'm final. up against... Ma <laughs> final. No, no, MasterChef final. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. We'll be, we'll be here on YouTube tomorrow. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I was more upset that I was up against Natasha. Gosh, Natasha's on at the moment as well. But you have had four people from the UK. Oh, have I? Oh, well, they need to go back and watch Nat. <laughs> Gotta go back and watch Natasha. Well, see, they can. Is one of the Monty Warner? I don't know. Let me know if Monty Warner's long as they're pleased. Because that's very, very, very important. Um, for all my girls that are in um, the UK at the moment, I'm really sorry about the speed of the mail. It is literally just frozen up again, and I don't know why. I suppose it's just COVID stuff, just COVID stuff. Mm -hmm. So to make our little vertical slats that are going to come down and sit here, I've got a two inch strip and you are just going to have to take your time and don't burn your fingers. Um, I should tell you too, on... Thursday, I have got um, quite a few new beautiful uh, batiks that are coming in tomorrow. So if you're on a bit of a batik hunt, we will have some more. 
Don't you tell Stephen I use his board as an ironing board, will you? Mm -hmm. So I won't do the whole bit, but I'm going to just open this up. <laughs> I like people flip. I like live. Well, you can't talk to the people on MasterChef, can you? I mean, we do, but it kind of goes one way. So this is just minding your fingers, please. And I'll run down the other side. I tell you what, actually, if you, you can see Felicity um, in the comments, everyone. Felicity has about six, oh, gee, it would have to be up to about six, five or six beautiful quilts. Um, going into our spring exhibition and uh, if they're not all in there they'll be in the Christmas one uh, and she uses a lot I will confess she uses a lot of under the Australian Sun uh, and Melba in her paste quilts do you remember on the live show everyone the, the umbrella the Melba umbrella we had yeah that was for the So I'm actually going down to um, Lee's uh, later this week to drop off her pieces from the exhibition and check up on Felicity's quilts that are down there being quilted for the exhibition. There we go. That will be enough for us. Pin that off there because it's all about just being able to show you how this works. Rob. Um. Oh no, I've just realized. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to pass me. No, it's okay, I'll do it with pegs. What do I do with the pegs? Do it with mm -hmm. pegs. I wanted you to pass me the, um, the little container of your mum's that I have my little pins in. But Ginny and I had an altercation with the pin container. Can I have the one down the end? That, can you see the green one? That tart, yeah. <laughs> um, this is one. Of, this is one of the ones I did from uh, Quilters Life. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention. Yes, the Quilters Life girls. Yes, uh, uh, <coughs> please check your mail if you haven't already for your special offer on our trinket box and trivet that we mentioned the other day. A lot of you have already ordered, it's not here, a lot of you have already ordered it, but please check your mail if you would like to get in on that special. And also, yeah, yeah, of course, this pattern um, is going to be up for you as a freebie. As soon as it's ready, and you should have your makeup purse as well. All done. I'm pretty sure Cass has popped that up for you. So, with this, you're going to take this and you're going to cut this down into two and three quarter inch. Now I'm just going to cut enough to, so you can see on my bag we've actually got one under there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. But if you want to put yours closer, you can and you will have enough fabric to do that in your pack. Great, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, I know. Yes, yes, yes. There's, there were so many of you ordered those little specials today. Um, now, a few people joined up today. Well, Janet joined up in things today. So, if you are new to a quilter's life, then um, please have a look at uh, everything that's there, including the new um, the new specials. Okay, so. These are going to sit an inch apart. Now, I'm going to, in the instructions, I want you to come through and I want you to top stitch down each side of these. Um, it can be a matching thread, but you can actually, if you look at this, you can see if you had a decorative stitch or, or a contrasting colour on these, that would look really, really cool as well. So, 
I'm going to come in one inch from the first edge and sit one there and then the next one is going to go an inch apart to there. This is just so much fun. Uh, that one goes there and we leave half an inch. So that goes, there we go. There. I don't even know if you can see that because it's so dark. Let me show you on the other one. Just see that? Yeah, you can. You see that? So they're all sitting an inch apart. And I'll leave that there. I want to, uh, I'm going to just go through and stick some pins in these. It's going to be a bit tricky. I have to go this way because I want to put this weave through for you. I know in my cupboard I've got braid and uh, oh yeah okay if you have all right all right let's just let's look differently about this technique if you have ordered one of these or you're in a quarter's life or something and you've got this pattern across there this is this is the perfect size. Um, if I measure this, this is three inches. So you could glue longer straps and you could do three rows, three rows of woven through with a ribbon or what we're doing today instead of the two. Once you've got this, I'm hoping you're going to go race into the cupboard and have a look. And I think it would look really nice um, on a rounded bag as well, going round like a wicker bar around wicker basket. Jin, take your bell elsewhere. <laughs> but Dad's in here too tonight. Did I tell you the other day I came in ready to go? We were so organized, I walked in and she's laid completely right across the whole keyboard because it was warm. And she'd shut down Facebook and all the programs. There you go. So they're all pinned on. So when you actually do this, you're going to the top stitch those first. Then once you've got these across, <coughs> you're going to be able to come back and put them right sides together with your two shorter strips like that and one at the top and they are going to secure those down all of these little slats down for you so you can come back and weave do you want me to throw something at us so she goes on the other side of the room did you see the state of my dmc threads next no. to the couch <laughs> i'd put them on top for us to sort out and um we won't go there all right, I'm going to do something really, really naughty. No, I'm not. I was, I was actually going to cut this up to show you how to weave, but no, I'm not going to do it. Because I, I want you to see what it's going to look like with the fabric we're actually using. So I chose this lovely uh, Northcote Shimmer because it pulls up the lovely, um, that tealy green colour that's in the flowers. When you get your kit and you go through and have a look and you go, hmm, maybe, you could always change it in for something else. There's, there's no fabric police here if you find something else that you would like to use and save the piece of fabric that comes for the weave. No judging. None at all. Um, you'll actually get to, in the feature fabric, in whichever one you choose, and as I said, I'll get this one up for you tomorrow even if it's not the finished bag i'll get all the elements up um, so that it you, you know exactly what it is um, and all of the specials that we do on thursday will be live five specials as well so it, it's no big one we'll combine them we did a lot of combining um, this week for people 
It was like playing snap. <laughs> okay, so I'll just iron a little bit of this. back to the exhibition as well um, if you want to put something in and you're thinking does it have to be a big bag does it have to be a little bag it, it can literally be something this big I do like this I'll never lose my glasses again Rob you'll just lose the bag hey no not if it's around my neck I won't lose it but if you sorry this is this qualifies for the exhibition. A bag is literally something that you can put something in and seal it. So that is that's up for grabs. Um, that would be fine. It doesn't have to be something big, even if it's literally a teeny weeny bag to put your thimble in. That is fine. I like doing the bag. You know, I like doing the bag thing because it makes me do them and, and makes me do ones that, that have been sitting in the cupboard or half made for ages. Um, fortunately, I have a couple that have got a little bit of an Aussie theme going on, so I will get mine finished. And they don't have to be fabric. If you've knitted one, you can. If you're upcycling an old uh, wicker basket or bag, like that orange one that I did, remember that? Um, uh, and you've added your own flowers and things to it. All of that's okay. Hand dyed felts, hand dyed wool. It's all good. I must get um, Anne Jackson to bring across some of her beautiful bags again, Rob. Mm. It's um, it's shepherd and craft alive this weekend, isn't it? I think it is. I've lost track. There's been show, shows are so transient and moving and on and off things at the moment. Um, I'll be very excited if it is going ahead for people. And another thing with this show coming up and the Christmas one, whether, <laughs> whether we're open or closed to the public, it will go ahead and it will be virtual every day. Uh, and um, I'm very thrilled you all think it's a really good idea that we get someone in to sign for us as well. So that's all happening. Um, we'll have one special day where we'll do a tour around the exhibition with the pieces and um, have someone there signing it for everyone that is has hearing disabilities or impaired. And, I think, and it will have subtitles as well. So I'm really happy about that. Very excited about having the Deafness Foundation butterfly pins again. That's probably the best bit. Okay, let's, um, this one. So. Okay, so I want you to imagine that you have already got this sewn on. And this has been top stitch. So that's in the instructions for you. I want this top stitched either side. Now this, you could match your colour to this. But also, if you've got some metallic gold thread, that would look really, really flash over the top of that. Hello, Cindy. I didn't see you were here. And Lynette's here too. That's nice. Oh, Margaret, you're here too. And uh, yeah, your parcel's at the front door waiting for Michelle. Got you all organised this week. Okay, now we're going to weave. So if this has been all sewn down, it's going to be a little bit more secure. Um, I'm also popping in the kit for you, as well as your batting, just a little piece of violin to put on the back of this. It's just going to give you a little bit more stability. So um, I haven't got it on the back of this piece, but it will be in your kit. So really, you are not going to need to add anything except your cotton to this kit. There we go. We leave, so now we've got this one's on top here, it will be underneath on this one. So we're just going to weave across again. So 
So you can see, you can, you can play around. I've left mine so that they are uh, an inch apart. But if you wanted to bring them closer in, you could have them perhaps three quarters or even just half an inch apart. If you're going to make them just that little bit closer together, do make sure you follow what I've put, I'm going to put in the instructions and put some stabiliser on the back. And then the other thing too, once they're closer together, a little bit like quilting, you're going to need a little bit more, not this flush um, 10 inches, because this weave after a while is going to take up a little bit more of your straps. So you've got ample to do the thickness that Jeannie... <laughs> what do I throw at her? I've got to throw something at her. Um, you'd think I'd have something. Oh, a mouse. No, no, Felicity made me the mouse. I'm not going to throw the mouse at her. Puss, puss. No. <laughs> I don't know why I keep reaching for the mouse. This one hasn't got a coaster in it. Beautiful girl. Excuse me. You can come up here and say hi, but we're not grooming ourselves with the bird bell on. There we go. I'm so glad you didn't see that. <laughs> she jumped she back. Went, she went. You know how to go. Or four. Backwards. She has. A, you coming up here? Are you coming up? You haven't been up to say hi tonight. So she's you're here. It's different. If you were. All right, I give up. Um. Anyway, let's go back to this. Oh, never work with children and animals. That is the line. That they say. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to Take her out. I don't want to hear that. Like, you know what? Look, oh, that is going to look really nice. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. There. <gasps> Can you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking picket fence and I'm thinking woven fence and I'm thinking... Mm, I'm thinking cottages and mm -hmm. yes. I did put it up, didn't I, a while ago, that old cottage quilt of mine? I think so. Okay, so this, yeah, that is going to be the base of this bag and then it will also be the straps. So where I've got this one here for the straps, I'm going to pop that in for the straps and then you're going to have that's going to be your lining so that's going to lighten it up inside so you're going to be able to see everything inside so um, I'm going to get this one made up mm -hmm. I do like it yeah happy with that and um, yeah so I've only got these in the antique at the moment um, having a little bit of a chat I think I've explained to you that we've got a little bit of a, a little bit of girl power going on at the moment between myself and Natasha and um, Vivian that uh, own Purple Stitches, both of them are in the UK. I'm kind of working like a bit of a girl team to bring you a whole heap of beautiful bag furniture and things at the moment. So uh, I'll go back to uh, Maria in Spain and check where these came from and then we'll get all that organised and then we can have... Um, more and get them in different colors as well so i hope i kind of hope you like it just a little bit and um we will yeah get the other one up for you so you've got as i said there's no rush we're not doing that whole panic thing anymore it stressed me out did it stress you out that saturday oh, let's just say we won't do it again but not this week not this week so that is your that's your bag that's $27.50 and that's up there now and you've got that in the lining and I've also put up this fabric and that fabric for you. I mean you might want to grab some more. That's pretty straightforward isn't it? Do you just want to grab a little bit more, maybe grab an extra half a metre, that's going to give you a couple more bags. Mm. Actually half a metre of each would be really good. You could actually do one in reverse and use that as the outside. That would be rather gorgeous. So, um, so both of those fabrics are up. Then we've popped up the kit for that for the purse and as I said please order um I will get more so you might just have a bit of a wait on those I'll organize some more and um, the lanyards are up 
Again, I've got a heap of these, but if they go, I will also um, order some more for you really quick. Well, I've got more coming at the moment. And then Rob's updated the photos. If you missed the demo and things on these, these are now up. And you might have just a little bit of a wait on this one, but the rest are um, the rest are all good to go. So I think I think that's about it for tonight. How quick and simple and everything was that? So now you can go off and watch MasterChef. Um, go back and watch Natasha makes. Oh, I've just realised what she's doing. Oh, I didn't even think about it. That the person. <laughs> The first kit I showed you, which is also up in Life Vibe, she's done a demo on this tonight, if you don't mind, with my pattern and the frames that we've done all together as our team with Liberty Fabrics. So you might want to go off and watch NatashaMakes.com because she's doing that demo tonight for these. So you can grab one of these and watch her make one. So that would be really cool too. But we will, um, yeah, I'll be back on Thursday. I've got a very, very nice project uh, that I'm a bit excited about that, as soon as I've made this bag up, which will be all done and dusted by about 10 o'clock in the morning, um, and Lisa will start getting all of your kits ready to post out after the other Lisa after the Thursday show. I've got a really cool project that involves a felt medium and embellishments to show you on Thursday. So I'm a bit excited about that now. Just remind her. What? What? To order online. Oh yeah, so it's all order online tonight. You get that, don't you? Live five. Um, Ruthie, what are you doing to me? Let me too. I'd like another set as well. Can you add to my order, please? What are we ordering? I don't know. I'll go back and have a look. Oh, the other set. Yeah, so the blue colorway, just wait. Order what you want now, please. Speak. Order what you want, Ruth and Fiona, now. Check it out. It's all done. And then just when I come back on Thursday or beforehand, if you think of it tomorrow night, just go in and once it's up, you can order one. So, um, we, hello Jill, did you get my message today? Yes, you did, didn't you? There's masses of Minky there for you. So, when you're ready, that's fine. Um, yeah, we have got to the point now where, which is lovely, we are so busy with orders from the show and online and people coming in. I really need them to all go through the show or otherwise we just don't get them all done. Literally from last week's shows, we've just finished all the orders and they've both gone out. Oh, thanks, Joan. So please, please, um, yeah, order, order through there for me. That would be brilliant. Uh, and then they just, they just get out quicker as well um, on Thursday night. All right, you all have a lovely evening, won't you? Have a super duper Wednesday. Stay safe and stay warm, and I look forward to seeing you at 2 o'clock on Thursday afternoon. All right? Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. It's this one.